Hey, Harvey, hi, man. We're back in uh, the saddle again, like Aerosmith said. That's right, Palm Beach, baby. Palm Beach, Florida. And we're drinking port, so tell us about the port in the storm, you know? Well, I used to say, you know, when I used to go out hustling at night for chicks, you know, I wanted to have some action. <laughs> you know, it got to be like 2, 3 in the morning, you know, and it was kind of desperate. So I would say, you know, any port in the storm, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure you guys out there know what I'm talking about because uh, you probably run into the same situation that I did, you know. It's like not too many chicks around at that hour, so, you know, you got to, like, uh, improvise, you know what I mean? Well, you know, with these waves, they're tremendous. I'm going to start a song, and maybe you can help me. What waves? I've got a... <laughs> what waves? I'm just kidding you, man. You don't like the waves? You can't... I like the waves, man. I'm a wavy guy, man. So let me start a song that this waves inspire me. I'll have you take the ball and run with it, okay? okay if I can. You can. Yeah. I've got a peaceful, easy feeling. Remember the Eagles? And, and I don't know the rest of the way. Nobody's going to let me down. Here I am standing. I want to make love to you in the desert tonight. You remember oh, that? I, no, I don't remember <laughs> Give me something that I know, will you? Okay. Instead of the desert, would you make love with the lady on the sand on the beach? I would, man. Under the uh, pale moonlight. You've never the, done that before when, in your life. Yes, like, I did. It was a chick from Chicago. <laughs> said, she, said she wanted to get laid on the beach. Didn't she say you're a right little whore or something? Was, no, man. She was thinking about this from Chicago. You know, she wanted me to go back there. Chicago, right? Chicago, my kind of town. How does that go? My kind of town. Chicago is... Kill my fucking story. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. Pick up where you left off if you can remember it. Still. I can remember it. What did you... What were you I saying? Fuck it all, Simons. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, she said she wanted to get laid on the beach. That's all. On the bitch? So she got sand on her pussy. Want to get laid on the bitch? <laughs> you said on the bitch? Can you put that on TV? Can you put the on, bitch? Can you put that on the show? Uh, don't. What did I tell you? Don't do that. Don't make comments like this. I'm just saying it, man. I want to make sure. I, I get to cut that out now. You, you can you cut know? it out. Don't, 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 don't talk like you're not involved here, man. We're oh, here. I'm involved, all right. Yeah. That's. I, got, I take full responsibility of everything that I'm saying. Well, we had some kratom today. Uh, oh man. Yeah, you know, marijuana is now legal, and That's I go right. to this pot shop, and I get CBD, and I get, uh, what's the, the yeah. stuff? LSD. No, what's the stuff in the <laughs> marijuana that gets you high THC? Yeah. But then there's this other thing called kratom. It's, it's from the Far East. It's like off a leaf, and it makes you really mellow. Have you, have you ever been mellow? Have you ever tried? How <laughs> about this port, man? Uh, Dave? This is the best drink I've had since yesterday. Since the Irish coffee later, earlier. Man, I, I, actually, we've drank some Irish coffee before. We had a uh, one of those uh, uh, salami sticks. Uh, this is not no gay shit. Slim Jim. Slim Jim. Then we had uh, some steak. Oh, man, that's steak. Then we steak. had some of those white Spanish onions were delicious. And, we and had mushrooms, some, too. We had some mushrooms, and we had gravy from the steak. You know, the juice. And then one little... Then we had a piece of that... Burger. Wheat bread, one wheat point. Bread. It's only one point Real on the Weight thin. Watchers thing. Yeah, that's it's right. a Weight we Watchers that. deal. So everybody out there in the Weight Watchers world watching me now, hey, I'm, I'm cognizant of that. I, I hope you know something, Dave. After we leave this place here, Palm Beach, Florida... I think we should go to uh, some other place, you know, some other exotic place, and we do our show over there. But I can't say where right now because we got to think about it, you know. We're here and everywhere, whatever. Oh, whatever. You know, you're enjoying this port wine, but savor it because this is all I got left, Harvey. Now you're so full of shit. <laughs> He always tells me that's all he has left, but guess what? It's probably a half a bottle in every refrigerator. I always have some in reserve, but this guy really uh, can drain me and take it out, you know? Ah, come on, you know, you expect that when I come here, you know? Yeah, so. I'm a halfway alcoholic. So anyway, we just wanted to uh, say hello. We're going to chill out now and uh, get back to uh, doing some other things. Maybe uh, we'll check in some other time. Yeah, looking for some chicks, man. The hot chicks, that's what I want. You're really looking good, though, Harvey. You're keeping yourself in good shape. And... I, I want the concha, you know, the concha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's I played guy... handball today, five games, man. Yeah, that's how you do it. I, I, I walked uh, over 10,000 steps today. See that? 
Plus, I go to the gym. The gym. It's a nice chicks over there, too, right? I guess so. Oh, I like that. I might join the gym, too, man, you know? You can't ogle them, you know? I mean, yeah, I'm going to talk to them. <laughs> no, they don't like it, but... I don't care. I'm not in the gym. You're there to work out. And... I work out with them. Oh. I work out on them. How's that? The bouncer uh, will grab you and throw you out the door. You know, you know something? They ain't going to throw me out. I know martial arts, man. I'll fuck, <laughs> I'll fuck them up, man. I'll fuck over them, S.A. Just think of that song, Kung Fu Fighting, when you think of oh, him. Everybody was Kung Fu Fighting. <laughs> they were fast as lightning. <laughs> right? Yeah. It's a good song. Okay, man. So let's uh, sign off for now. And yeah, People don't want to hear too much bullshit from us. You know, they got other things to do, you know? Go yeah. do them, you know? Go do them, you know? You know, even if no one's watching this out there in YouTube land or wherever you're watching this, I don't really care because I do it first and foremost for myself and my friends. Wait a second. Listen. Here's what I'm going to say. Why should we care? Why should we let it pass over us? Was there something more I should have done? Was I not meant to be the one? Where's the life I thought we would share and should I care? If someone else be getting more of you, will they go to sleep more sure of you? And when they wake up knowing you're still there, why should I care? You mean Bataglia. Who's Bataglia? You mean Bataglia. A fucking pimp! No, he, pimp! He was behind it all. You mean Barzini or Bataglia? Oh, but. Let's do it, come on. Bataglia's a pimp. <laughs> but it wasn't until this day. I know. It was Barzini. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Marlon Brando guy, man. Yeah, well, you know, I never could match up to him, but, you know, before Marlon Brando, guess what? It was John Garfield. Before John Garfield, there was Paul Muni! Right. Muni! What about the guy, though, that was in the courtroom and he goes, They got my daughter and they molested her. They start right from there and the Godfather. And they, they went to the Godfather, Joe. Oh, yeah. They got my daughter. What did they say? They put their hand, their sticky hands on her or something. How does that go? I could do the whole thing. No, no, no. Just get to that point. Get I to know, the team. Uh, what can I do? You know, I, that, that was, you know, I, that, that's a whole monologue over there. You yeah, you, you like to start and then you. You can't thing. cut into it because you just know it from the top to the bottom. No, you know? no, I could cut into it. No, but what did she say? But then I went to the Godfather. Oh, yeah. How does that go? Then I said to my wife, for justice, for justice, we go to that Corleone. <laughs> what did they say? They put their hands on my daughter oh, and they, uh, they, 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 they gave her whiskey. Then they tried to take advantage of her. She resisted. She kept her honor, so they beat her like an animal. Went to the hospital to visit with her. Nose was a broken. The jaw was a shattered. How's the get up by wire? She couldn't whip because of the pain. But I wept. Why did I weep? She was the light of my life. A beautiful. And now, she will never be beautiful again. I went to the police like a good American, and those two boys who have gone into trial. The judge sentenced them to three years suspended sentence. Suspended the sentence! I stood in the courtroom like a fool. Those two bastards they smiled at me. And I said it to my wife, justice. Justice we go to that country. Yeah. And you're like that, motherfucker? Yeah. <laughs> this wine is helping me, Dave. Oh, yeah. This fucking wine. You know, Harvey, this is the day of wine and roses. You know? The day <laughs> <laughs> of wine and roses. That's a good picture. You know what? That Jack Lemon, he came at the end of that film, right? And he started promoting. Oh, I don't usually do this, he goes. Then he started talking to the audience about promoting the film. Yeah. But you said you saw him once and he was like talking about himself all the while, right? Well, he got that um, American Film Academy Award, that yearly award they gave it to him. So I guess, you know, he's talked to everybody and... Some people were saying, hey, Jack, I got something. He goes, oh, do it. Yeah, get send it my way or something like that. It's a big like star. Yeah. It's a big dead star. Well, at least he made it. Looks like we made it, you know what I mean? Looks like we made it. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite guy, Barry Manilow. 
He says he screams. I love the way he sings. I like Neil Diamond better. But Barry Mellow's all right. I mean, you know, the fucking guy had a lot of fans. You got the beat, you know, you cherry. You got the beat, you know, you cherry. Cherry, baby, cherry, baby. You remember the Neil Diamond song, Cherry? Yeah, I like Sweet Caroline. Sweet Caroline. Eh, eh, eh. Good Good times never seem so good. I am inclined. Eh, eh, eh. You know, I know his his, uh, cousin, Alan Diamond, you know? Did you ever sing a song and play along and go to sing, L.A.? Sing, they just said, I am, I said. Oh, I f- am, I cried. Let me ask you, what the fuck are I right here? He's trying Chinese now. Chinese, like, Chinese, Chinese, Chinese. What go on? I fuck the play. You can't do that anymore. You know, they used to do it. But, uh, I can do it. Why not? Jerry it's Lewis, you it's know. Fun. Uh, yeah, they said he was making fun of his uh, people that had MS, you know. <laughs> That's what they said. Yeah, well, you know, you remember the um, the film with him and De Niro and uh, Scorsese, Jerry Lewis, King of Comedy. Those two guys got him. They were doing a scene, and they wanted to get him really angry. So they were saying, "You Jewish motherfucker, you <laughs> suck." Scorsese and De Niro did it, you know, and he was enraged, and they they filmed that it. That bother me though. <laughs> They have to do something more. Later that. on, he was really upset, and they go, Jesus, Jerry, take it easy. That wouldn't bother fight. me that much. Why was he enraged? You that wouldn't bother me. Yeah, but what the hell do they say to him to make him like that? Yeah, he's a sensitive guy, what can I tell you? You're out of the shot. You know? Maybe they tell him, like, you're fucking your wife or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? What That's what I- happened in the World Cup between Italy and France, right? Yeah, yeah. France was ready to win. And this Italian guy got in the star players on France. I don't know what he said. He probably said, I fuck your sister. She's a fucking whore or something. Really? So the Proust guy got his head, and he headbutted him. And he got kicked out of the game and the Italy won. They did that on purpose to bait him, you know? They bait his bait. So God knows what they said to him, you know? <laughs> he probably said, your fucking sister's a whore or something like I that. You have to what you say to Yeah, people. they're on the field, though. But, but you know, the French guy headbutted him, and the Italian guy went down. He got right back up, smiling like he's a little like. Uh, this guy was on the train. This black guy, right? He's going, "Hey man, give me some money, man!" Somebody laughs. He goes, "Who's laughing? It's not funny." Finally, he went to the next fucking car. We got rid of him. I'm out of port. Give me yours. Hey, hey. <laughs> last night I'm in this. Hold black your port up. Deli, and the woman goes, uh, uh, "Have a dollar." So I told this black guy she wants a dollar. Yeah. He goes, what are you telling me for? <laughs> yeah, it's like, Hold your port up. Show him how much port you have. You, this guy is like, I'm drinking, he's sipping like a... I'll finish it soon. What time is it? 4.25. By 4.30, this will be gone. Well, we'll, we'll check back later. Because... Uh, We've had a good time talking to you down yeah, here. Yeah, that's right. You could, you know, some of the stuff we're going to edit because a lot of it's a lot of bunch of horse. Well, maybe we'll use it all. You know, yeah, I don't know at least me and you this. are watching it. I don't know who they yeah, are. Come on, let's. Get, I want to go back in the water, man. Yeah. Then after that, we'll go to happy hour. You know, meet, meet some fucking hot chicks. You know. Yeah, you know, we got to stay away from those yentas in the motel. In the I don't hotel. want that, man. What's some yeah. younger ones? Twenties, <laughs> you know, thirties, know, right. forties. No fucking old antiques. I guess some Colombian women coming in. Uh, oh, that's good. Let's go right. down to Colombia, man. We'll have Pat's a ball down, down there. there. My brother Pat's down in Colombia. We'll visit so. Pat down in Colombia, man. Have a ball down there, you know. But you know what Pat just told me last weekend? He's he having two, right? No, he called up. What he say? And he said he met this Irish guy who was like a reporter, and he was in Colombia, right? So he went out the week before, and he, he met these mamacitas, these older women, and, and they're all nice. And then he woke up a day later in a hotel room with no clothes on and, and not his wallet or nothing. Yeah, be careful about it, man. And, and, you know, Pat said that these weren't the prototypical, stereotypical hot chicks. They were like older ones. And they what drug you. What the them for? They drug you, man. They sip it in your drink and then you wake up a day or you two later. You them? That's a mistake right there. No, he's in a bar. He's in a restaurant. He's there having a good time. They're all partying, you know. Hey, welcome to Columbia. And then all of a sudden he wakes up. Careful. He wakes up two days later, you know. Two days. <laughs> I don't know, a day later. He said, I told you not to give him that much. How much money did he lose? No, they took his, uh, they, his wallet was empty. His iPhone was gone, you know. I mean. Ah, man. Where was this, in Columbia? I guess he's out of the picture now. Columbia, man. Yeah. 
So, Pat warned me. This, they they all been warned down in Columbia. If you go out to party, they're gonna uh, single you out. And they're gonna get you drugged and, and uh, take you. That. I ain't going down there. Yeah, it's no fun. I'd rather really go to Fort Lauderdale. There. There's pussy down there. You, know? you you have no experience whatsoever with Fort Lauderdale, my friend. I used to live there. Fuck it. <laughs> this guy in the 70s, that was his domain. You know? I got more fucking pussy than the toilet seat. More. <laughs> don't change. Don't. <laughs> no, don't change your clothes. What? Don't change. Oh, I won't change. The lady on the phone, you, you're coming over. Don't no, change. No, no. She goes, <laughs> don't take a shower. <laughs> This guy took people's drinks away from them after he gave them drinks. And no, like, I didn't take their drinks you away. You took that one lady and started oh, talking to another. One time, man, she was talking to this guy after I bought him a drink. <laughs> so I took a drink and walked it away and I drank it. I don't blame you, man. They looked at me like this. Like they were they shocked, were, huh? Yeah, they were shocked, man. He's a little shy. He keeps getting out of the camera, but... Uh, it's all right. You know. But listen, we had a good time here. You know, these waves are... Let's go to happy hour. These waves, Harvey, are mesmerizing. Let's let's it. focus on them right now. Don't talk. Let's talk the oh, waves. Listen, close your eyes. I meditate. Oh, it sounds good. Shalom. Shalom aleichem, aleichem shalom. We'll see you again Adios. sometime. Adios. <laughs> See you on the Benvenido. Hey, come, see you on the Via Benedo in Rome, you know, in Rome. Via Benedo. How about the Spanish steps, you know? How about your mama? How about your mama? How about my mama, your mama? Everyone's mama! Everyone's mama naked. <laughs> your mama can't dance, but your daddy can't, can't rock, rock the road. Rock yeah. the road, motherfucker. Okay, everyone. We like to go on and on, but we're not fucking uh, robots. Pe people don't want to watch this fucking too much of this shit. Who cares? I want to watch it. You want to watch it. Anyone else want to watch it? So what? You know?